Thank you, Stephen. Uh, we'll now move to the announcement of the Annie Spink Award for Excellence in Architectural Education. So joining Stephen to introduce the winner, I'd like to call to the stage the chair of this year's judging panel, RIBA Vice President of Education, Ros Barr. Hello, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and it's a huge pleasure to introduce you to the winner of this year's Annie Spink Award. In 1974, Herbert Spink left a trust to the RIBA in memory of his wife, Annie, which he dedicated to the advancement of architectural education. Since the first Biennial Award was made in 2000, this prize has attracted dozens of extremely strong nominations of accomplished academics teaching in schools of architecture validated by the RIBA and internationally. This year, I had the honor to chair an esteemed judging panel which comprised of Tamsin Hanke, um, part two graduate of the Bartlett School of Ar Architecture and winner of the 2013 RIBA President's um, Dissertation Medalist 2013. Deborah Howard, Professor Emerita of Architectural History and Director of Research in the Faculty of Architecture and History of Art at the University of Cambridge. Joseph Rickworth, Professor Emeritus of Architecture at the University of Pennsylvania and winner of the 2014 Royal Gold Medal. And John Toomey, Professor of Architectural Design at University College Dublin and founder and partner of O'Donnell and Toomey, who are, of course, winners of the 2015 Royal Gold Medal. Faced with a range of exceptional candidates, the panel's decision was not an easy one. However, we all agreed that the most deserving recipient of this prestigious award would be Professor Florian Bagel. Um, over four decades of continuous inspirational teaching, Florian Bagel has revealed an unparalleled commitment to architectural education that was framed in entirely unique terms. His involvement with the School of Architecture at London Metropolitan University dates back to his appointment as a design tutor in 1973 when the institution formed part of the Polytechnic of North London. In 1979, he founded the Architectural Research Unit, otherwise known as ARU, a design studio that has operated out of the school ever since as a pioneering model of architectural practice, design as research. For the past 41 years, Florian and ARU's work has been published internationally and has won numerous awards, while many of Florian's former students have gone on to establish distinguished careers in their own rights. He has always been teaching from the point of view of a practicing architect, <coughs> guided by a poetic and politicized preoccupation to cultivate the city as a place of social encounter and charged spatial definition. Florian's work, both as a practicing architect and as a teacher, has always been directed towards developing strategies by which a culture of public life might be sustained. If that endeavour initially presented a particularly radical challenge to Britain's urban culture, it went on to find influence across the world in the work produced by the many architects taught by Florian. The numerous letters of support to his nomination revealed an architect and academic whose penetrating intelligence, generous spirit and abundant talent has had an outstanding sustained influence on generations of students architects and fellow tutors. Ladies and gentlemen, I personally am extremely honoured to give this award, so please join me in welcoming to the stage the recipient of the 2014 Annie Spink Award for Excellence in Architectural Education. Now we can clap.
<laughs> it's a real honor and a pleasure to be given this award and recognition from the RIBA for one's role as an educator in architecture. It's wonderful for me to see so many former students and colleagues here today in the audience, and thank you for coming. I'm an architect that likes to build, and also I continue to be inspired by teaching architecture to young people. It is the projects that I'm engaged in as an architect that give me the most pleasure and sense of achievement. In our case, practice is research, design as research. The practice informs the teaching, and the teaching informs the practice. In this way, there has always been a balance between practice, research, and teaching. If one gives the younger generation of architects an understanding of architecture as a cultural endeavor, if one can engage young people to love architecture and to offer a sense of generosity of spirit in their designs with an artfulness, then one has possibly helped to raise the discipline beyond the scientific or functional craft towards a more enlightened social art. In our design research and in the discussion with students, we are working continuously with ideas of space. We are not interested in form following function. Firstly, it should be a good room with good proportions. It should have character, perhaps a certain awkwardness or irregularity. This might come by offering a good view, a good relationship to other rooms, and connections to the exterior and the city. It can come with a clear tectonic language and an ability to use a little of good materials se selectively. A sense of time is important. All too often architects think of their designs as fixed in time, static. We agree with Cedric Price that the project should be able to anticipate a future that is unknown. Perhaps the German word Baukunst, building art, is a good way of describing the artfulness of, a, of the architect. The building artist is able to bring some of the depths of knowledge of the master builders of the past into contemporary life. Architecture is not the same as art, but we are always looking careful at spatial invention in works of art that can be translated into architectural space. I'd very much like to thank the many friends and colleagues who have collaborated with me and given their support in the Architecture Research Unit on the teaching through the years at the CAS. Helen Malinson and Robert Marr have been instrumental as directors of the Architecture School supporting our teaching and research work. I'd also particularly like to thank to Philip Christou, whom I have taught together with and collaborated in practice for 30 years. Without him, <coughs> I could not have done it. It's for these reasons that I would like to dedicate this award to Philip. Those whom have <coughs> generously nominated me for this award and given their backing with such enthusiasm, thank you very much. <laughs>